Greetings and welcome once again. So uh, what are we going to test here in this contraption again? So uh, what I thought to check out really is uh, how do you defend effectively against the cop vomit? Now when I build my bases, obviously you know you have your, your steel walls and everything and then you hopefully stand behind and uh, snipe or shoot at the enemies. But something that usually happens is that you'll get some cops coming and they'll vomit at you and uh, they'll either hit and damage you or they'll damage the defenses that you have. So when I was trying things out, I noticed that iron bars have some weird behavior. Sometimes when I was standing behind, they would actually take damage, even though uh, I shouldn't be. Maybe it was a splash damage. And then at other times, I noticed that using iron bars, well, sorry, iron bars, steel poles, uh, it wouldn't actually take any damage. So I thought, let me try that out. Let me see if there's any real difference. Because even though iron bars are good, as you can see, they're good for turrets and whatever. They don't have a lot of hit points. I mean, if they have 2,500 uh, compared to the steel, which has, well, 12,000 if it's polished. So obviously, if you can go for steel, it's a lot better. So I'm going to put out some chairs here. And of course, the chairs are a little bit cheaty in that uh, they hold the enemy back. The mobs don't actually target them, and they generally just stand behind them. But uh, for our purposes, we want the, you see here, we want the cop to be standing behind. So we don't want him to be running around too much. Let's see if I can put this one here. And then let me let me put the iron bars here. Oh, I'll get rid of that one in a moment. So we have the iron bars here. And uh, let's use this one. Fastest way of getting rid of it. Let's do this. So we're going to try if I stand behind here, do I take any damage? Or if I'm pressed up against, do I take any damage? So let's start with, uh, let's just do a normal cop. Oh, no, no. Okay. That's not what we wanted. And the hitbox when you're spawning here doesn't always play nice. Okay. So I'm standing here. And I take no damage. Which is good. He'll, he'll walk up to the chairs and he's not going to do anything. And I shouldn't take any damage. No. But what happens if I stand stand here close enough? Oh, it makes him uh, try to beat me. Maybe I should have put him further behind. Let me see if I get him into the vomit animation. Come on, spit at me. Okay, he should be hitting the... Oh no, I didn't take any damage. I've had that happen in previous tests where I was standing behind the iron bars and I was taking damage. That's really peculiar. Nah, come on, vomit again. We want to see what happens just to reconfirm. All right. I guess he doesn't want to play ball here. Nope, I am not taking a damage. Okay, that's good to know. That was interesting. I was actually expecting to take some damage because that's happened in the past. Okay, so let's try with iron bars. So, okay, but before we do that, actually, let me uh, see how much damage that took. So we saw all that vomiting. Okay, not the one at the bottom, but uh, this one took a fair bit of damage. So if that happens uh, consistently over a fight, they will eventually break. Now let's try with the poles. Uh, let's get another cop. No, 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 not again. Play ball, please. Okay. So let's see if I stand here. Or will he hit the pulse or will he hit me? Okay, if I hunker down here. Let me see. Does it spit through? No, it doesn't spit through. Oh, that's really interesting. I thought he would actually be able to spit through. No. And as you see, this one uh, has a lot more health points, so it can take a lot more damage. What if I stand up here? Okay, don't stop beating, please. Yep, okay, let me trick him into vomiting. Oh, he actually... And that must have been a lucky shot. I've never seen him actually destroy these ones. I'm going to have to look that, watch that back uh, later on. That generally doesn't happen. Okay, let's try again then. See if we can get him to vomit while I'm standing now. Go away. 
do it from a higher angle then. Alright. Come on, vomit. Now I still don't take any splash damage. So what does this mean? Well, it does seem to imply um, if you only want to defend, yeah, just use the poles. Really interesting. I mean, you can shoot through the poles as well as these ones. Well, almost, of course, this covers a little bit. But this one has so much more hit points. But that's really interesting. And no splash damage at all. Well, that was a really good find, actually. It means that I can change out some of my builds to, instead of just using the iron bars. How did that happen? But anyway, instead of just using the iron bars, I can just use the poles, even as protection. Because they do spot through either way. Nice. But let's do last test. If he explodes. Let's see if I oh let's see if I can get him to explode to see if I take damage through either here. Oh yeah, I do take damage from that one. Okay. So let's uh heal up actually. And let's uh, get rid of these two. Let's spawn in another cop. Alright, let's see if we can get him to... Oh, uh, iron... Wrong. Come here and explode. Okay, let's see if we take damage here. I will take damage either way. So the the vomit doesn't actually splash through, but the explosion does. Well, so I think my favorite way going forward is going to be the poles. What about you? Do you still use the iron bars in order to protect from the vomit? Or are you going to switch to using the poles? Let me know and of course like, subscribe and that really helps me out and uh, drop some comments and I uh, will see you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos do follow the Patreon link.